How you've clicked on to today's tropical tippet for Thursday, May 10th. Here's the Atlantic. Not a whole lot going on out there except a lot of rainfall that's continuing for the Eastern Caribbean as it has for the last month or so. Uh, but th that may change during the next couple of weeks. It's now that time of year to start watching for the first chance for some kind of tropical development to occur in the western Atlantic as these areas start to get more favorable and the jet stream here starts to lift northward and allow the monsoonal circulation to get going down here in the eastern Pacific and the western Caribbean and that's what we're going to be watching. And uh, activity will probably pick up in the next couple of weeks due to an MJO pulse coming across the Pacific right now and uh, not very strong but it's forecasted to come out over here into octants 8 and 1 which supports convection and upward motion occurring in the eastern Pacific and the western Caribbean. Now you can see in green here the GFS has uh, been the most bullish on this and it's been showing this coming out pretty strongly here for the last three weeks or so and has been wrong so far because it's been too fast which is typical of it in the early season and these other models here the European the JMA and the UK Met have been a better doing a better job at keeping it in here and waiting to bring it out but eventually they are hinting at bringing it out here and eventually we should see a pickup in upward motion and thunderstorm activity in these areas of the world here but the GFS is still a little bit too fast and too bullish but it has been showing us what can happen here eventually when it is right because eventually the MJO will come out here um, it's been showing on its ensemble mean the development of low pressure in the Western Caribbean, which you can see here, sub 1,004 millibars on the ensemble mean at day 12 here, showing up in the Western Caribbean, indicating all the upward motion that is occurring here. It was showing Eastern Pacific development strongly too. It's starting to shift more towards the Caribbean side of things lately. And uh, this is day 12 at about May 22nd. This may still be a little bit too fast. Uh, I'm thinking the period for between May 20th and June 5th is the target region we may be shooting more towards the middle of that. I like the idea better of what the CFS week 3 shows, which shows all the precipitation showing up in this area May 24th through May 30th week 3, and uh, this may, may, may be more indicative of the period when we see activity, and this will likely be drawn northward, whatever comes uh, from the Caribbean moisture or a storm or low pressure area whatever comes out of this pattern will likely get drawn north or northeastward into the eastern Gulf over Florida or the Bahamas across Cuba and of course it's a long way out and we're not sure but uh, the early season pattern typically would support this and uh, any kind of moisture that gets in here will likely be drawn out and uh, get entrained into a mid-latitude trough. Now we can see why this kind of a pattern could set up ourselves for some kind of an early development in the Eastern Pacific or the Western Caribbean. If we notice what's going on on the ensemble, I mean this is day 11 now, you can see the above normal heights uh, that get into Southeast Canada as the polar jet stream shifts up into Canada here. So it gets out of the Eastern seaboard and uh, leaves ridging behind, but you can see the sagging heights now that are left behind to the south over the southeastern U.S. reaching down here as we have this trough coming down into the Gulf of Mexico and the Northwest Caribbean. This is how you can get early season developments if we get the monsoonal circulation becoming more active because of an MJO pulse coming in like we have and then a trough reaching back and getting cut off behind interacting with this moisture and that can easily bring some kind of a low pressure system out and help it develop and get it uh, northward and that's how you can get an early season type of tropical storm that gets sheared off to the east by the jet stream and brings a lot of wetness and rain to areas that undoubtedly need it in here so it'd be interesting to see if we can get a beneficial early week tropical storm to come up and give some tropical rains um, but we shall see what happens it is still a long way out but it we are starting to watch these areas now eastern pacific may get the activity first and they may get their first storm i believe named aletta and we will be watching for alberto again period may 20th through june 5th is what we're looking at right now classic early season type monsoonal development and we shall see what happens all right that's it for today thanks for watching